So letting the bell be an invitation into stillness. And doing what you need to do to support you in contacting not just the stillness of the body, but also the stillness of the mind and the heart. And if you're struggling today to really find that stillness within, as best you can, holding yourself with a tender compassion and forgiving yourself if even that is something that you struggle to do. So those who are familiar with practicing mindfulness um, will know exactly how to mind yourself during the practice. But for anybody who's relatively new, just reminding you that the instructions, the guidance that I give is very much on the basis of an invitation. There's no obligation. And inviting you to take responsibility for how you use this time. So if it feels in any way overwhelming or it's bringing you to a place that's too raw for you to be with, knowing that you can always stop and or if your eyes have been closed, you can open them or you can do whatever you need to do just to feel supported and to feel in balance. So it's a good idea right now to really tune in to the physicality of the body. One helpful way of doing that is to notice how the body interacts with whatever it's resting upon. So the pressure and the contact between body and chair or floor or bed makes it a bit easier to wake up to the fact that we're always embodied. And that recurring tuning into the sense of being in a body can be a source of nourishment for, for many of us, a way of taming the mind. We're not trying to fight with the mind, but just taming it into a, a little bit of stillness.
And then an aspect of being embodied is the fact that we measure out each moment with a breath. So the awareness of the breath is like a bridge between the experience of having a body and the experience of having a mind. Resting the attention on the flow of the breath, on the physicality of the breath, has the potential to bring a sense of ease for both body and mind. And of course, sometimes we may be so wound up about some situation that that might be a difficult thing for us to access. So if that is a reality for anybody, just allowing it to be as it is, trusting your experience to be as it is. Just being with the breath. And if you like, just allowing the attention come to rest now on sounds. On a beautiful day like today, it's often the case that there are more windows and doors opened so that when we are indoors, we have access to more sounds. And it seems that sounds in the distance have an evocative quality on a, on a summer's day.
And it could be that as we open up to sounds, that some sounds seem pleasant and others might be irritating. And the challenge is to just be with them in as neutral a way as possible. Not judging, but maintaining curiosity. And the fact that it's a sunny summer's day, which can be such a a delight and a relatively rare thing in, in, in Ireland in May, we can have a lot of expectations for ourselves on a day like today. Possibly tied by competing demands whether it's to cut the grass or paint the fence or go for a walk. Or maybe there's work that has to be done indoors and we're longing to be outside. There could be that tension that the day is so precious, how can I best use it? So as best you can, trusting that You are where you need to be right now. This place is called here. This place is called now. There is no other moment. Just here, with this body, with this breath, some sound waves, And underlying all of that is the consciousness that knows it is here, that can hear, that inhabits each moment.
It could be that because of the sunshine that there is a sense that we should be doing something, that the day demands some special activity. But the deeper invitation is to just be. I'd like to read a short poem. It's called Seas. S E A S, in case you're wondering, by one Ramon Jimenez. Just a few lines. I have a feeling that my boat has struck down there in the depths against a great thing. And nothing happens. Nothing. Silence. Waves. And then he poses a question. Nothing happens. Or has everything happened? And are we standing now quietly in the new life? So adding to that question, could it be that as we find ourselves with so many of our normal activities curtailed, perhaps we're standing now quietly in the new life. Maybe it is the case that with so many things closed down, so many things that suggest that nothing has happened, or maybe everything has happened. For me, the sunshine in the garden or in the park or in the street suggests a bigger opportunity to really notice the beauty of the natural world. So it's my wish for you today that if wherever you are living, the day is pleasant and you can get outside, that however busy you are, if you can take some moments to just be nourished by the texture and color of a leaf or a flower or a gentle breeze. or even the, the determination of weeds 
They are to be admired. So as we come to the end of the meditation, 